Beautiful and sunny tomorrow. And today, the spirits are in good humor! Yay! Water my turnips. Oh, it looks like I didn't get too overexerted. I still have a full energy bar. That's good. Maybe it's just when you get you stay out too late. Green beans. Random seeds. I tried to fish in the lake today. fish in the lake today. Er, not the lake. In the river. Let's fish in the river today. Your forage stuff respawns, but it doesn't respawn like a ton of it all at once, so you just gotta kind of be on the lookout for it. I may get my cutscene for the community center today. I do not. There's no new thing here. I think it's the mayor's birthday at the end of the week. Yep, on the seventh is the mayor's birthday. Ooh, stealing your trash. Hey, mayor. Stealing your trash. I'm gonna scavenge the beach first, and then I'm gonna come back and fish right there on that um, that bridge. Need to get 300 wood. Because once you get 300 wood, you get over there, and there's a bunch of, like, coral and sea urchin and stuff, and it's a good way to make money. Well, it's an okay way to make money for the game, I should say. There are many way better ways to make money later. I think you have to get to a level 3 in fishing, and then Willy will give you, uh, well, he'll offer you to, to sell you a better rod. The second level rod, you add bait to it, and then the third level rod, you can add bait and, uh... And a lure. And all the lures do different things. And you can craft some, and you can buy some, and some are achievements. Just a lot of options. The trap bobber lure is the best one. Pretty sure it's a trap bobber. It's a little square. Yeah, boy! Gonna find Emily later and give her that. She works at the bar, so it's pretty easy to find her. Making that green, making that green. You can find anything in the trash that uh, you can give to Gunther and then a handful of other things. Sometimes it's food, sometimes it's artifacts and rare items and things like that. There's a very low chance of you finding rare items like that. Usually it's, I think most frequently it's trash, or food, or um, like acorns and some other kind of random items like that. But then like maybe like you have like a half a percent chance to get like a prismatic shard, which is like a really rare item from usually you get in the dungeon and stuff. But you run the risk of somebody seeing you and walking past you, and if they see you, it takes your heart the heart level down with them for them, like the point level of, of affinity you have. They make a comment about how you're disgusting, uh, picking through the garbage. Um, I have gone fishing for real, in real life. I have fished with crickets and without bait. I have fished for a variety of fish. My grandpa used to take us fishing, and he would take boiled eggs and Vienna sausages to eat while we were out. Um, a lot of the places I went fishing were catch and release type places, though. I have um, done crab pot fishing and stuff, too, like setting up crab pots and whatnot. You do that in the intercoastal waterway at Savannah sometimes. I like seafood of all types. It is one of my favorite things to eat. If you follow me on Facebook at all, you might have seen that I ate 10 pounds of crawfish on my birthday for charity. Oh, I'm out of space. Gotta trash some stuff. What'd you say? Um, there are no other games I enjoy fishing in. Fishing sucks in most games. Uh, I don't like fishing in Hades because it feels really arbitrary. Um, I 
This is the only game. And I, I wouldn't even say I like fishing in this game. I've just done it a lot that I'm pretty good at it. That doesn't mean I like it. That just means I have an aptitude. Hey, Haley. Cool. You're still a jerk, but that's okay. Where is Emily? Are you still? Yep, you're still in there. Please come out, Emily. I need to give you a fish. A fish. I have this fish for you. I showed you my fish. Please answer. Let me give you this fish. It gets much easier when you're actually like three heart level with it, like basically everybody, because then you don't have to wait for them. You just go in their room and bother them. <laughs> um, but that'll take my yeah my affinity with her went up to one heart because I did a task for her and she paid me money, which was very nice. She does have blue hair like me. Hey Penny, how's it going? Got about half an energy bar, so I'm gonna go back home and chop some trees. Let's see if I can get some more wood, get up to 300. And then I might go south to Marnie's area and pick up some foraging stuff. I'll uh, we'll take you, the two of you. And all of you. Goodbye. I'm gonna leave this tree up, and this tree up, and this tree up for my future tapper stuff. Cut everything else down. cave up there. Later I'm gonna get mushrooms in it. Not the kind that make you high. Although some of them kind of do make you high. They have really weird effects. All of them have different effects and stuff, but Demetrius is gonna come by and be like, hey, I'm gonna use your cave for bats or for mushrooms. And I don't understand why anyone in the world would ever choose bats, because the bats in this game don't give you that good of a benefit. They give you bat wings. And I mean, they're common drops in the dungeon, so it's like, I don't really need that. Whereas the mushrooms can be, like, super valuable and useful, and people like them as gifts, and there's just a lot going on there. I don't, I don't understand why anybody would choose bats. Yeah, if bats gave you guano and you could do something with it, like, that'd be useful. But they don't. They give you bat wings. And bat wings are used for, like, I don't know. Two crafting recipes, maybe? Oh, <laughs> let's try to feed the spring onion to this tree stump here. 285, I'm really close. I think it's 300 and not 350. I hope it's 300 and not 350. Nope. Ah, crap. Don't die. Alright, cool. Probably gonna try to eat something because I don't wanna... Get over exhausted again. Put this crap up. Oh, maybe get one of these guys so I don't die. And I'm gonna go south through Marnie's area and go back to where the uh, the bridge is because I'm now gonna fix that bridge. Really? It's so good when I can actually clear out my farm. I don't have to walk through all this crap. That's Haps Marnie. David Marnie's cow. How's it going, cow? Hey, Jody. Yeah, way to make small talk, Jody. My life is interesting. You don't have to patronize me. Hey, Lewis, I'll give you a gift on the 7th, because it's your birthday. 
This is Sam. He's the worst husband imaginable, okay? He makes you- I should. I should throw the whole man out, okay? He makes you go to his stupid band, stupid concert, and all he does when you marry him is sit around and tune his guitar and make terrible music, alright? It's the worst. He's the worst husband. I made the mistake of, of romancing him one in one game, and I'm, I regret it. I have regretted it ever since. Ever since. It's not particularly hard to come by, but it doesn't hurt to collect it when you find it. The um, the coral and the sea urchin are, are actually going to be pretty valuable for us to sell. So that we can buy more seeds, so that we can plant more things, so that we can get more money, so that we can buy more seeds, so that we can plant more things, so that we can get more money. I mean, I think you see how this is going here. I do really like my purple top and my pink skirt, though. It's pretty cute. There are like a billion mods for Stardew Valley, too. I've never played with any of them. I've only ever played vanilla Stardew Valley. I'm gonna sell one of these so that I can get it for the, um, there's a the collection. When you sell stuff in your collection, it'll start appearing. And I haven't really sold a whole lot of stuff, so. 6.30. I don't have any energy, so. Feels weird to go to bed at 6.30, but we're going to bed at 6.30. My axe has gotten better, and now I have a new recipe. Not that I can make it till I increase my uh, house size, but, you know. It's only day five of spring. We've got lots and lots of time to grow stuff. Most stuff takes about half a season. The longest stuff in spring takes half a season to grow. So, like, um, cauliflower takes, like, 13 days. Every season is 28 days. So you want to make sure you don't plant something that's going to die before, not grow before the end of the season. Because then you'll never harvest anything. Sunny tomorrow. Spirits are in good humor today. Yes! Cave is available. Alright, we're gonna go to the cave in a minute. Uh, but first, we're gonna harvest some parsnips! Yay! And then we're gonna water some stuff, because, yeah. I have 15 parsnips, which is exactly how many I need to sell for the polyculture um, thing, so I'm gonna sell them. Oh, now that she needs my business, she's gonna apologize for making fun of me. But I still love her. Parsnips, coming back here. You pick up you. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna go to the north side. I'm not gonna waste any more of my energy because I'm gonna try to do a little bit in the caves today. And we'll use all of our energy in the cakes. See where we can get there. Uh, my character does have a beard. I have emo side sweep hair and a full luscious beard. I have an awesome purple and a pink skirt. How's it going, Linus? What's up, my dude? Who hurt you, Linus? Who hurt you? The Adventurer's Guild. I like this guy's sick eye patch. Yeah, boy. Rusty sword.
you gotta kill some stuff before they make you a member. Because that's how the uh, adventure skill rolls. Right. Later, we'll have an elevator that goes every five levels, but you gotta make it to five levels to even use the elevator, so... My luck is pretty good. This Things like this do affect your luck in the game. Um, so if the spirits are pleased with you, you'll have better luck in the mines. There are a variety of enemies depending on what mine you're in. And then on these lower levels you can mine copper, and then you get silver and gold further up. The rocks also become harder, and uh, you have to upgrade your axe to really not spend forever trying to chop things. You kill, I think, 10 slimes? The adventures? Where is it? Explore the mine. I gotta craft a scarecrow. I gotta build a coop. Gotcha. Later it'll give me an achievement to kill, like, 10 slimes, and the Adventurer's Guild will let me be a member. Right now I have a pretty crappy sword, so it takes forever to kill anything, which is fun. And by fun, I mean not. Now I'm on level 5, and I did that achievement. Now it wants me to get to level 40, because there is uh, no chill. Right now I mostly got bugs and slimes. Later you get skeletons and void monsters, and then you go to the desert when you unlock the desert, and you have a significantly harder mine where you fight mummies that you can only destroy with bombs, and it's a bit ridiculous. Around level 90, you actually get access to a very good sword. And then if you find a prismatic shard, and you take it to the desert, and you hold it up at a specific spot, you get the prismatic sword, which is absolutely friggin' amazing. And it is, I believe, the best sword in the game, unless that's changed in updates. The limiting factor in the mine, at least certainly in the early game, before you get some star drops, is um, energy. Sometimes health, if you're terrible and you get swarmed by bugs and you're not good at fighting them. I'm not saying that's Perinja, but I'm saying that that's Perinja from the other day. If he's still listening. And if your luck is bad, um, they hide the ele or the stair in like the last freaking thing you chop, and it's really annoying. But my luck's pretty good today, so I mean I'm on what level six? I'm finding it pretty easily. Finding the stuff. These bins sometimes have pretty rare stuff. I'm like that's a cave carrot. Cave carrots aren't super rare, but it'd be nice to have one. Like, I will get rid of... I guess these. The slime stuff is actually pretty easy to find, so... Ah, crap. Alright, I'm gonna leave because I'm out of energy, as you can see. And then later, if I wanted to, I can go to level 5, because I made it to level 5. The mine goes down 120 levels. And it takes some time to get all the way down, but, you know. Adventures, Adventures Guild does not open until 2pm every day. I'm sorry it happened before to you, Linus. Okay? Okay. I'm gonna trade this out. I'm gonna take some flowers and see if I can go gift some people in town, since I don't have any energy. And it's Friday, so we get to meet the weirdo seller on the south side. The weirdo seller always has really interesting stuff. And I have $900, so maybe I could get something. Weirdo seller comes on Fridays and Sundays. And is usually available until, I don't know, like 8pm or something. I'm gonna leave my geodes in there. Oh, I might even have another geode too, I think. Yeah. Um, cause I'm gonna get Clint to break them, I think, later. 
Yeah, let's, let's do that first. We'll go get Corinth to break our geodes. Um, and then we'll pick up stuff along the way. And uh, we will go and find the weirdo on the south side. Geodes can contain stuff for the museum or copper ores or... They have a list of things that each type of geode contains, and then the Omni Geode specifically contains more items. It has you have a chance to find basically everything in an Omni Geode. That's that's like a, a, a not a craftable item, a non-animal item basically, a non-farm non-animal item. Hey Jess, uh, I do, Penny, I do. In a second, I will turn these things into Gunther. You see, sometimes it's just copper. So, I got Celestine and Petrified Slime. And until you give one to Gunther, you don't have a description, but once you give one to Gunther, Gunther will, like, every time you get one, it'll be a description. Those types of items, by and large, are not worth anything. They're not worth a lot to sell. You really only need to get one for Gunther. And, and most of them you don't need afterwards. And almost nobody wants to be gifted them. They're always bad gifts for people. Gunther has amazing style. I'm just saying. Look at this man. He's rocking this denim suit and hat. It's amazing. He knows what he's about and he has no shame. I would donate these artifacts. I would. Just for you, Gunther. Just for you. Once you donate a certain number of artifacts, that's when he gives you the key to the sewer. And that's how you get access to Krobus in the sewer. And there's like a second quest in the sewer and stuff too. Sometimes when you donate to him, he'll give you a reward. But right now, you don't have any rewards, and I have nothing else to donate. But I did finish this. So, I need to build a scarecrow and build a coop. I think I need better farming level before... Because I don't think... I, yeah, I don't have the ability to build a scarecrow yet. We're gonna go down to the beach and we're gonna steal crap off I mean we're gonna scavenge things off of the beach that are available to everyone and certainly not stealing at all I definitely don't like to steal things that is not something that I do those little wiggly lines are crap that's buried in the ground and uh, there's more act you have a better chance of finding things like that after it rains like right after it rains because you're more likely to find buried stuff gonna go by Marnie's gonna wave to the cow hey cow hey hey Lee Lee is a sculptor. She makes a sculpture for you later. It's kind of cool. Once you're, like, friends with her. And then if you put the sculpture in your house, it increases, like, the value of your house. And they, there's, like, an HOA where, like, they rate your house and how nice it is. And they give you rewards if your house is really nice. So, it's pretty cool. I don't have a lot of energy left to uh, fish or anything like that, so we're gonna go- Oh, we gotta go see the weirdo. Definitely gonna go see the weirdo. I'm gonna go sell some of this coral when I get back, too. Whoa. This is the weirdo. A lot of this stuff is pretty common, but if you know what you're looking for, like, pufferfish. Pufferfish is super, actually, really valuable for me right now. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this pufferfish. Oh, actually, first. I want to clear my inventory of this one piece of stone. Then I'm going to buy a pufferfish. 
because there are hard to catch and you need one for one of the community center bundles. And when we open the community center, it'll show you all the bundles and stuff. But I've played this game a ridiculously large amount of times. Uh, so cherries is also a thing you could use for it, but I don't have enough money for that. So pufferfish it is. Thank you, weirdo. I appreciate you. I'd like to tell you that I could, like, perfectly optimize and min-max this game, but I can't. That's... I'm just shooting in the dark. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are people out there that speedrun this game. They're magicians. Absolute magicians. I'm gonna go ahead and sell all my coral because it's worth more to me to sell right now. And it's very, very common and easy to get later. It is still 6 p.m. on a Friday, but I don't want to eat anything and I don't want to uh, expend anything. I don't really want to gift anything today because the only person I'd gift to is George. So I'll go to sleep, get some money, buy some seeds tomorrow, plant some more seeds, grow some more stuff. Now I can make a scarecrow. Look at that. It feels a little tedious at first, but it starts rolling once you have enough money to cycle your crops a little bit better. It's gonna rain, thank god. Spirits are very happy today, even better. And Clint is coming to see me. I did. He's gonna give me the blueprints for a furnace. Yeah! To make a furnace, I need uh, coal and copper. But a furnace is like the most useful item in the game, so. Thanks, Clint. Uh, now I got the, the 10 slimes I need to get. Uh, I do, I've never built a well in this game. I don't find it useful, so. You know, to each their own. But Robin's like, hey, if you want to build a well, I've got the ability to do that. All it does is give you, like, another place to get water from, but, like, I always plant my crops in this area anyway, and when you get late game, you get sprinklers, and you don't really need to water your crops anymore. So, it's not super useful. need to buy some seeds. Yeah. Play some slimes. Craft a furnace. Oh, I need to craft a furnace, too. Okay. For a scarecrow, I need wood, coal, and fiber. I don't have enough wood, I know. It's 20 copper and 25 stone. I can do that. Oh, I cannot. I need more copper. So, that'll be later when I go to the mines. But today, today is a farming day. So, we're gonna go buy some seeds. We're gonna plant some crops. We're on day six. The egg festival will be like maybe day 12 or something, maybe 13. I wanna save up some money for that so I can get some strawberries. The strawberry plants are, are gonna be good for me later. Nothing on the wanted board. Sad. Rifles here, people. Oops. Cookies. See, Evelyn makes cookies. And you get cookies from her trash. Don't know why she. I don't know why Gus threw out a chocolate cake, but hey, I'll take it. The acorns are, are more common, kind of what you get. So I just kind of got to wait around for Pierre's to open. Eventually, the mayor will be like, hey, something's going on at the community center. You should check that out. And then you do check it out, and then you find out. If you ever um, get real hurt in the mine, sometimes it brings you back to uh, the front of the mine and like the adventure guy found you miraculously or Linus found you in the mine and you were dead. Uh, but sometimes it takes you back to Harvey's and Harvey makes you pay a thousand dollars and, and uh, to fix you up. Cause you know, doctors need money too. It's Saturday. 
Please open here. There we go. 